Hey guys, so it is that time of the weekend. It's almost the weekend for me. I'm not sure about you or when you're watching this video, but it is time for me to bring you another sketch vlog video. And today is going to be kind of embarrassing, well not kind of, pretty embarrassing and kind of a guilty pleasure type thing. But you guys are my friends and I thought that I would tell you anyways because just like real life friends, I would tell you things even if I'm embarrassed about it just to make you laugh even if you're laughing at me. But I have to tell you one thing, me, Kat, I am addicted to TV shows, and not just any TV shows, TV shows about redneck things. I have no clue why or why this came about. I think it has to do with Honey Boo Boo because once her mom started talking about the jiggle jaggle and they started farting in people's faces and making a game out of it and talking about spaghetti made with ketchup and butter, just the crazy things that happened on that show. I was like looking and got hooked into all these other shows about rednecks. I'm not sure why, but I have a list and it is extensive and long. Like, let's go into detail. It's a little embarrassing, but let me just tell you about it. Now the first show I'm addicted to, and I've literally watched every single episode and every single season, is the show called Squidbillies. I don't know how I came across it. It sounds redneck. Squidbillies? What the heck is that? But calm down and let me tell you, this show is like, if you take South Park and you put talking squids in it, that's what this show is. Sounds crazy, but it is one of the most hilarious things ever. There's this old grandmother squid on it. She is my favorite character. And there's another squid who's like the auntie and she... They all look like hands and she has like the fake nails and like the ratchet big weave like the southern weave and she has like pounds of makeup on. It is so good. I think with animations and if you put hillbillies together, they get away with everything and your imagination just runs wild. Just like King of the Hill, that's an old school hillbilly show that I absolutely adored even when I went to visit my friends in Texas. I thought that it was going to be like King of the Hill. It's not. I even have family and my grandparents are from Texas. So if I have a little southern accent sometimes, it's because my grandparents were from Texas. My dad is from Oklahoma. Oklahoma... I'm not saying they're all rednecks, but my dad calls cornbread Oklahoma wedding cake. No joke. Another show that is really, really good on redneck TV shows is like the premium of the redneck shows was Swamp People, and it was so good until I stopped watching that show because there were some people getting in trouble with the law and even people having fights with women who were officers. This is in real life, not even on the TV show, and they didn't even talk about it on the show. So I'm like, I'm going to cut you off because I'm not all about that beating women and, and that type of jazz. <laughs> no, not even funny. But I moved on from Swamp People to Mudcats. Mudcats. Talk about Oklahoma. Mudcats is about these people who go fishing for catfish and not just go fishing with a pole. I'm talking about fishing where they get their hands and they this sounds bad. They fish, they they get their hands and catch the fish with their hands. I'm trying to talk. I can't. Maybe they're like dropping my IQ at the same time, but they go fishing by catching them with their bare hands. What? It reminds me of the show River Monsters, which was on Discovery Channel that I talked about. It kind of looked like Obama type of guy who's the host and he like gets big river monsters. That's what this is, but he like actually gets them with his hands, the people on Mudcats. And I was so addicted to that show. You cannot disturb me while I'm watching that show. I will eat dinner. I will do everything else in the day, finish everything just to watch this show. Show. I don't know what it was about the Mudcats, but it is so, so good. And another thing about wildlife, there's another show on Hillbilly Network. That's what they should call it. This is my list of things that I have like on record on the television. This is Cat's Hillbilly Network. And it was a show about the Turtle Man. Call of the Wild Man technically is what the show's called. There's this guy who has like practically less than like 10 teeth in his mouth. And I kid you not, he lost most of his teeth from getting in a chainsaw accident, but he has the ability to talk to animals, and not only talk to them, he actually grabs them with his bare hands. This is why I like hillbillies, because they get their stuff done, bare hands, and hard work. And they might not seem smart, but you know what? They could like live off the land and get their money by doing stuff like that. And you can't get away with, in real life, like brewing moonshine. 
mind. There's a Moonshiner show, and it's crazy. I don't know why it's so addicting. Another show that's kind of Canadian, it's not super hillbilly-ish, well kind of because he fixes everything around the house like utilities wise with duct tape, that's why I like this show. Like he makes these creations, it's kind of like my artwork, where he'll make like a hovercraft using fans, box fans on a boat with duct tape. Like who does that? And it's Canadian, it's called Red Green. That show is crazy and I like how it's like broken up into segments like a real talk show and if you get it in Canada, I heard it's like playing all the time mostly like reruns of it because they have like over 16 seasons of the show that's how long that show was going for it but that's just a rant on a show that I actually like and I'm not sure if it's super hillbilly but it's good so that's my rant on hillbilly shows that I'm super addicted to that's like my guilty pleasure most definitely. I don't know what it's about them. I think just the simple life that they go through. It reminds me of my grandparents how they like pat passed away recently and they grew up on the farm and just living off the land type thing and just a simple life it just makes me appreciate everything I have more and what I'd like to know in today's video is what is one of your guilty pleasures or if you have multiple leave me a comment down below because last time on Sketchbox we talked about what is one thing that you do that's super duper lazy and I had some amazing comments like you guys make me feel like I'm a very productive person I'm not downing you that hard. But one of my favorite comments is something we all do is the smell check for the laundry, see if it's still clean and fresh that you could wear it for another day. <laughs> another one is someone who doesn't make their bed. I guess they just sleep on top of it so it's never unmade. Another person cut their hair really short so they don't have to comb it much in the morning. So I love your comments. I can't wait to hear your responses on what's your guilty pleasure. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will definitely see you on Monday. And I love you all. Bye. And I'm sure a lot of you guys go through periods of laziness, maybe even on a daily basis, because as soon as I get up sometimes, I'm like, do I actually have to get dressed and presentable today, or can I go today without wearing a pair of pants?